Hey everyone, it's me, Everyone Knows Dave. And as always, I have a question. Don't you feel that the menu music in Daisy is a little boring and a little dated? Don't you wish that it was more tailored to your server and the feel that you really wanted to give out there? Well, in this video, what we're going to do is show you how to change that very quickly and very easily. Before we start, we'd like to thank the amazing Jungle Tea and all these amazing members at the server Shootout. A partnered server with the Legends who has gone out of their way to make sure that these files are so simple that we can provide them to you in a way that is incredibly easy to understand. If you like a good DayZ server, you should definitely be checking this out. Hey everyone, so the first thing we're going to do is ensure that we have Daisy Tools installed. So if you don't currently have Daisy Tools installed, or if this is your first time doing it, what you need to do is go to your Steam, go to your library. We're here, it'll probably just say Games, make sure that Tools is ticked. Scroll all the way down to Daisy Tools and make sure it is installed. If you're already at that point, fantastic, we can continue. We're going to launch Daisy Tools. Now, once you've launched Daisy Tools, if this is your first time again, you're going to extract the game data. If you have already done that previously, then you're fine. You can go ahead and mount Drive P. Again, if this is your first time, extract the game data, wait until it's completed, come back to Daisy Tools, and then mount Drive P. Now we have Drive P launched. If we could go and have a look, look, we can see we've got a Drive P. Now what we need to do is go to the link in the description, which will bring you straight to our current um, workshop uh, file. And what we're going to do once we're here is we're going to subscribe to it. Now I've subscribed to it, obviously we launch Daisy, so that it will download the mod for us. And there we can see Easy Menu Music has been launched. So we can go to that mod. And we can open the folder in Windows Explorer. Yes, I understand. I know what I'm doing. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this. And we're going to paste it directly into P. Now we have this, we're going to open it. And what we'll find in here is a bunch of folders. Now, what I want you to do immediately is select both the add-ons and the keys, and I want you to delete them. Now that we've deleted them, we're going to go back to P, and we're going to create a new folder. Now, we're going to call this folder Custom Main Menu Template. And you're going to make sure that the C, the M, the M, and the T are all capitals. Now that's very important, it must say exactly that. We're then going to go into there and we're going to make sure that it should be as it is, empty. We're going to go back to the one that we just copied over, Easy Menu Music, and we're now going to take all of these files and we're going to paste them directly in to Custom Main Music Template. And there we go. Now what we have is a mod that is ready to build. However, if you build this mod, all it's going to do is play the song that we've already preset. So you need a song. So you can now pick whatever song in whatever format. Um, we've gone for one that uh, is obviously uh, not going to get us told off by uh, copyright. And here it is, it's Nethix winning. Now this is currently in MP3. The file requires to be in OG. So what we're simply going to do is convert it. So we're going to open Chrome and go for a free online MP3 to OG converter. And we're just going to convert this with any old online converter. We're going to choose our file, which we have on our desktop. We're going to grab that file here, which is somewhere around here. And we're going to convert it. And we're going to let this convert it to an OG file. Now, it doesn't really matter what converter you use. You can use an online one. If you have a personal audio converter, then go ahead and use that. The important part, it is an OGG file. It must be an OGG file. Now, as you can see, we converted it. So we're going to download it. And hey, presto, we've got it downloaded in our downloads. Fantastic. 
We're going to grab that file, which is now here, winningnefx.org. We're going to copy it. We're going to go back to our P, go back into our custom main menu template, and we're going to paste it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the name of your underscore music. So I'm going to use control C to copy. You can always go right click and copy if you like. And then I'm going to delete the original. I'm now going to select the name of this and I'm going to paste in the name of your underscore music. Fantastic. Last thing we're going to do is ensure that we delete this file here that says meta. We don't want meta. Meta is from the old one. Now we're going to go back to our Daisy tools. Now, if this is your first time using Daisy tools, this may look very um, confusing, but it's incredibly simple. What we're going to do is we're going to go to add on builder. This is going to load and we're going to select these three dots here. And we're going to go to P custom main menu template. And we're going to select it. We're going to go to these three dots here and we're going to select exactly the same folder custom main menu template we're going to make sure this box that says binarize is not ticked and we're going to click pack and hey presto the build was successful it's most amazing now you're probably going to rush ahead and start putting your keys in and whatnot and go and pack it and it's going to go absolutely crazy and going to mess up your menu like no tomorrow you need to not do anything other than what we're going to do here what we're going to do here is we're going to copy the PBO. We're going to go back to RP and we're going to create yet another new folder. This time, our new folder is going to be called whatever we want it to be called. So in this case, I'm going to call it Menu Music Dave. There we go. We're going to open the folder. We're going to create a new folder called Add-ons. And inside the add-ons, we are going to paste that PBO, the custom main menu template dot PBO. We are now going to go back to our Daisy tools and to our DS utils. We're going to open DS utils. We're going to add a source directory. Now this source directory is going to be exactly where that add-on is. Uh, our new folder we've made, which in this case is main music Dave add-ons. We're going to click OK. And there we can see our add-on. We're going to click the N. Now we're going to give it a name. In this case, I'm going to give it Dave Music. And we're going to click this little folder here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to point this directly towards the folder that we were just working in. Which in this case is Menu Music Dave. We're going to click that and we're going to click OK. We're going to create the key here has now created a key and then we're going to process the file excellent we're going to close this and we're going to go back to our p drive back into our menu music dave we're going to create a new folder called keys and we're going to drop the by key in there we're going to take this text and private key and we're going to delete them now what we have is a working mod to create your own menu music all we need to do is publish it so we're going to go to daisy tools we're going to go to publisher we're going to create a new mod here i'm going to call this uh, youtube example we're going to ensure that it is public we are going to click this little folder here and we're going to go to p we're going to go to whatever you called your folder Obviously, um, in my case, I called it Menu Music Dave. We're going to select that and it's going to say mod structure seems to be valid and all is signed. Fantastic. You're going to give it a description, which there you go. There's a description. You're going to click I agree and you're going to click publish. Now, do not skip forward, as I've said in every time I do this, because if you do, you will end up with a meta that says zero, which will basically say your mod is out of date all the time. You close this. You go back to it, so here it is, YouTube example. You select the same files again, so we go P, in this case, Menu Music Dave. We select the folder, we add anything we want in the change notes, and we update it.
Excellent. Now the mod has been updated. So now we're going to go and get the mod. Uh, the easiest way I found to do this is simply to go to Steam, click Workshop, go to your, your files, and you will see the file that you have posted. So we are going to go ahead and subscribe to this. We're going to boot Daisy, which will then um, eventually pick it up what we've done. And there we go, YouTube example was loaded. So we're going to go to our mods. We're going to go to whatever you called your mod. Again, in this example, YouTube example. We are going to open the folder in Windows Explorer. And there it is, there's our mod. So I'm going to copy this to the uh, sample server I've got here, which uh, has the last version that I uh, was testing. We're going to drop it in. We're going to take the key, obviously, as you do with every other mod. You place the key in the keys folder. And then we're going to add it to the start parameters. So we're going to copy this here. We're going to open our start bar. Obviously, if you're using a rented server, this will be on your, um, your web terminal where you normally put your mods in. We're going to save that and we're going to boot the server so you can see that this actually works. And as you can see, we're loading into the server. Obviously, this is a menu music mod, so this is designed to alter the music that is available on the main menu. You know, rather boring OG vanilla music that um, we've been listening to for nearly 10 years. Here we are in game, so it's time to go back to the main menu and see what happens. And as you can see, that org file that we chose is now playing as the menu background. So as you can see, this is the easiest way in the world to possibly add music to your Daisy main menu. You simply switch an org file out from the files that we have provided, pack it, load it, and put it into your server. I have been Everyone Knows Dave, and I hope you are enjoying a much, much better tune on your main menu. Please consider subscribing. We are so close to partner, it is absolutely terrifying. Thank you very much, and take care.